Hi, Chris. Great to see you from across the pond. <laughs> hey, lady. Good to see you, too. So you're in Atlanta and I can't remember how we met, but it must have been through networking of some description. Yes, and I'm pretty sure it was a couple of years ago because we've been good about staying in touch. We have. I think it's nearer five years, actually. <laughs> it but may I, be that long. I think it is. And along the way, when we discovered that we were both Christians and we had a faith journey to, to walk, it's, it's created a better bond and friendship, I think. Mm -hmm. Now, you've had a really interesting walk with God, literally. So can you tell us just that little bit about what you were doing um, a couple of years ago when you put your faith into, into being? Sure. I mean, this is a much, much longer story. Um, it started out with a period of brokenness. It ended up with me kind of having this crisis of faith, which then ended up in a period of recovery and healing, which then led on to an adventure with the Lord. And through all of those experiences, the Lord was basically teaching me that he is provider, that he absolutely is uh, defender, protector. I mean, all the qualities of God that we hear about all the time, but he was experientially showing me that, especially Jehovah Jireh provider. And that has been something which has truly become amazing for me. One of the things that happened to me uh, two years ago is I was in a position where my income was all over the place and I never really knew how the ends were going to get met, but God kept showing up and kept paying the bills. And after a very long time of this, I mean, it was probably a year or two of that kind of lifestyle. I got to a place as to where I was much more at peace with the uncertainty of it all, but I wasn't really thrilled about it. I was just kind of at peace about it. And then one day, God invited me to be generous in that uncertainty. And he asked me to start giving without really knowing how much I was going to make every month. And after I gave, the Lord would bless me. And it was this really interesting experience where when I was faithful to do what God asked me to in terms of generosity, he would take care of everything. And so after that happened, I jokingly said to the Lord, I want to play a game with you. I cannot give you God because I know now that you are faithful and I really want to live this out in a big way. And so I ended up playing this game with God called I can't out give you God. And every month at the beginning of the month, I would give an amount that he told me to give. And then bills would get paid, even though there was no literal earthly way that it could happen. God intervened, miraculous things happened, just stuff happened and the bills got paid. And then the next month, I would give more on top of what I gave the month before. And the same thing would happen. And I did this for six months. And at the end of six months, and this is no lie, and I am not patting myself on the back. This is all God. I was giving $600 a month out to various charities, people, ministries, whatever it was that God told me to give to. And I still had no steady income. And I still had no idea how the bills were going to get paid. And then at the end of the six months, God said, all right, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay. And it ended up being this phenomenal six month experience of really learning that when you do what God says, he takes care of you. And so another six months went by and I tithed normally, whatever I used to do before the game. And I really decided that the Lord was leading me to invite people into this game with him. And so I invited a bunch of people um, last year to participate. And about 20 people uh, signed up and said yes. And 
it was a 90 day program where they basically did what I did, which was at the beginning of the program, they asked the Lord what to give every month and they asked for an increase amount every month after that. And then they- I, I remember that program because I was going to join it and then life got in the way. So I couldn't, <laughs> I dipped in and out. So I would pop along and I would hear these incredible stories of people saying, I was walking by a homeless person and the Lord told me to give them a meal. And I was on my way to something and I didn't really want to, but I did. And then after that, you know, they were blessed themselves. Um, so what was your standout story from that time of other people doing that program? What I really saw from facilitating that experience for others was financial anxiety was broken off the people who participated. Wow. So many people today, they get so wrapped up in, oh my gosh, I'm not going to have money. How, the, how are the bills going to get paid? I can't give you anything because I don't have enough for myself. And in the kingdom, there is abundance. The Lord's resources are endless. His checkbook is bottomless. And if you really believe that God is provider, then you're going to listen and do what he says because he knows what's best. And if he says, go give that homeless person a hotel room for the night and you have barely any money in your checkbook and you charge it, God's going to repay you in some way and take care of you in some way. And that story you mentioned is actually one of my stories <laughs> that I lived out during that experience. Um, but there were so many others and there are so many testimonies that I've shared with people about that. Okay. And is that on your website? It's on the website. Yes. It, um, the, I can't get, I, the I can't outgive you God program. I've got that as a website and for groups that want to do it together, uh, I set up individual websites and I always include the testimonies. So if you want to put a group together and you want to do this, I'll share the testimonies. You can learn a little bit more about the program and I'd love to have you participate. It, it's not only an experience for you to learn who God is, it's really an experience in learning to develop a lifestyle of generosity and faith in the Lord. Well, this is why I, th I thought, yeah, let, let's, let's, let's just do it because I've been very lazy, if you like, by putting other things in the way. And I, I just feel that God's saying, get on with it. But I don't want to do it by myself. So the fact that we can have a UK group a group of my friends, my co contacts, my you know, people maybe who would be interested. And so I thought, yeah, let's do that. And the full details I, I will put out in a letter as well, because we're still tickling those around. But basically, we're talking a 90 day program. We're talking about meeting twice a month and it will be in the evening on Zoom. And Chris, you will mentor us through the whole thing. Mm -hmm. We're talking about, is it £25 a couple? Uh, it's a household. Person? It's a, a household. household. So, right. um, and I'm not sure of the exchange rate. It's $27 American money. So I think that works out to be 25 Yeah, round, it round about. Right, if around. There's a, if there's a shortfall, I can, I can sort that out. Not a problem. Yeah. And, so, and I want to I want to make it clear also that if you are in a financial place where you absolutely can't give another penny, there's also an opportunity for you to do it um, at no charge. Um, so brilliant. please do not let the money stand in your way. And I will say also that this is not a prosperity program. No. This is not, oh, yes, um, the Lord will just give us when, you know, it, it's more than that. It's, it's about understanding him and what he wants to do through his love and financing being part of that. But it is not, it's not a cuckoo thing. It really isn't. I wouldn't be interested otherwise. So if you're interested, reply to me on this letter. Reply to me and we'll make it happen. We're thinking of it starting sooner rather than later. So it'll be in the next month or so, but I'll give you the dates. So thank you so much, Chris. Remind us of that website. 
Um, sure. Let me actually read it off to you. I have it here. Um, whoops. We should really put it on your name, but never mind. That's okay. It is begin to shift.com. That's my website. And then it's a forward slash UK dash can't out give God challenge. And you'll have that in the letter as well. Yeah. So I can't out give God challenge. Nope. Brilliant. Oh, no, yeah. I just can't. Well, no, I in the website, but <laughs> uh, it's UK. It, anyway, it'll be on the website. <laughs> Super. So that's the challenge. Do you want to join me? Or I just may shorten it and may make it UK challenge. I don't know. It'll be in the letter. <laughs> whatever the whatever the final decision is, will be in the letter. <laughs> right. Brilliant. Thank you. And um, I'll we will render this video and get it out there. Great. Thanks again.